As the United Kingdom, Brazil, Russia, and India turn away from the U.S. dollar, China and South Africa work with Ripple Labs to create a worldwide CBDC on the XRP ledger. It's hardly surprising that important organizations like the Federal Reserve and Congress Treasury are rushing to include XRP in their systems. They understand the benefits and efficiency of the XRP ledger and are keen to use it for their financial platforms. Given this global change, there are notable developments taking place in the legal field as Ripple Labs has been negotiating a settlement with the SEC. Motivated by the growing interest from U.S. government agencies in using the RippleNet system for payment processing, the most recent breakthrough in one outcome of these talks is a settlement. $20 million payment to Ripple for institutional XRP sales could be the end of the continuing Ripple SEC litigation. In the meantime, prestigious private banking institutions, including BlackRock, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, and Wall Street companies are actively acquiring XRP and attempting to utilize its advantages rather than merely watching from the sidelines as of late. Even further, a leaked report from BlackRock claims that XRP is not a security and that it would be used as a form of payment. To join our community, dive in, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the notifications. It's becoming increasingly clear that the Federal Reserve's intention to use XRP for the blockchain portion of their present payment system is the result of multiple reports that provided information about the Fed's blockchain technology and payment services currently to enable quick conversion between fiat and stablecoins. This project is a big step forward. There have been numerous occasions where analysts and professionals connected to both the Federal Reserve and Ripple have publicly acknowledged this partnership. Ripple is particularly well known for its expertise in cross-border payments, and open-source distributed ledger technology is being highlighted as one of the fine tech companies the Fed now intends to collaborate with. This is consistent with the larger trend that the U.S. is moving more and more toward Ripple for its central bank's digital currency activities. The National Bank of Georgia's choice to collaborate with Ripple Labs on their foray into the CBGC market is a shining example of this. It seems logical, in light of these developments, that analysts are predicting a for XRP, the basic market price is approximately $10,000. This estimate is predicated on the sheer number of transactions that XRP is anticipated to enable, especially in its capacity as a member of the ISDA International Swaps and Derivatives Association, where it is anticipated to manage over $1.20 quadrillion when taking into account think about this transactional scale. The potential for XRP's value increases even further when considering only one entity. The growing acceptance of XRP by several organizations and governments worldwide who are realizing its efficiency in terms of cost and speed highlights this potential in the process of global wealth starting to flow through the XRP ledger. Given these elements, cautious valuations of XRP's worth expressed in simple monetary terms can occasionally surprise us, particularly when we consider the possibility that it could reach $1,000 or higher. Considering that over 19 central banks have reportedly purchased XRP, both industry insiders and enthusiasts the fact that XRP is quickly becoming recognized as a significant worldwide digital asset is evident from the sheer number of these transactions, roughly 9.4 billion. The president of the International Swaps and Derivatives Association, IDA, has highlighted the critical role that XRP plays in the financial industry. The euro indicates a significant leap in the adoption and valuation of XRP. Even AI systems like ChatGPT are predicting a substantial increase in XRP's value, projecting it to reach $5.50 in just a few months. According to the ISD, XRP is necessary to enable transactions and derivatives worth more than $1.2 quadrillion. Promote this recommendation. Putting Ripple in the same category as financial behemoths like BlackRock, JP Morgan, and Goldman Sachs, among others, is the cause of this enormous inflow of capital into XRP. Central banks are not they are actively seeking to incorporate the XRP ledger into their systems for international payments, even if they only bought XRP as an asset. This is clear. Benefit these banks' extensive XRP acquisition, as they view it as an essential tool for the CBDCs they are creating. Okay, 
Everyone, let's change tack and talk about BNB, the sponsor of today's video. Check out this platform for an amazing staking opportunity where you can make significant rewards. Provide an incredible 333 APR. They incorporate Binance items into their services, which is an outstanding rate. Easy to follow guidelines, the creative creator of Docs and BNB Dowland follows rules and is perfectly attuned to the environment. Guaranteeing a safe encounter. So that you can view the updates instantly. We'll show you a video clip later on that underlines this point. As a result of these efforts, other central banks have contacted Ripple to construct their CBDCs on the XRP ledger to use Ripple for more effective and affordable financial transactions. Development analysts are making modifications. Their estimate of XRP's potential future worth there is growing agreement that XRP might rise to 1250 in the upcoming months. The specifics of the upcoming video will provide more details on why such a big you heard correctly, a price hike is not just possible but very likely. Before we get into the meat of today's exciting film, guys, here are some linked documents, reports, and an astounding price estimate for XRP. In the next few weeks, let's establish the scene. Verified analysts and even a well-known capitalist firm are predicting that XRP's value will soar and that it may make investors into millions, possibly going back several months. In a remarkably brief amount of time. Renowned for being a global leader in the public blockchain is a perfect platform because it is made especially for processing payments and producing currencies. For digital currencies issued by central banks an adaptation of this technology is Ripple. The collaboration between the public and commercial sectors will be crucial to the development and broad acceptance of CBCs, providing a private version designed for central banks. The public sector, which includes governments and central banks, will design and implement policy. Setter establishes the fundamental guidelines and puts into practice the essential skills for both wholesale and retail. But, as you've heard directly from Ripple representatives, we'll see the creation of creative use cases in the private sector. The fact that many governments and central banks are actively interacting with the Ripple Labs development team to implement their CBDCs using the XRP ledger is consistent with the abundance of evidence indicating that CBDCs are working with Ripple Labs more and more, involving some of the world's largest nations. As an example, Consider a recent according to a Finbol news item, the nation is developing its CBDC on the XRP. Examine the article in more detail. Indicates that more than 15% of the world's states, including the Russian Federation's Republic of Palau, may use the XRP ledger as their CBC platform. The Montenegro Uruguay Hong regime Japan leading this project are New Zealand and the United Arab Emirates. This motion is about to place XRP. Let's examine this as a facilitator of more than $1.20 quadrillion in transactions, requiring a price of roughly $10,000 per XRP token. Even Arthur Brido, co-founder of Ripple Labs, has stressed that XRP needs to be scalable, which is why a $10,000 valuation for the project is not just realistic but crucial. At a level suitable for worldwide efficacy. Jimmy Valley, the managing director of Valley Hill Capital, agrees, speculating that XRP may be worth anywhere from $110,000 to $35,000 a coin once regulations are in place, particularly if it ends up serving as the global bridge currency to highlight the regulatory developments. According to reports, the SEC has extended an offer to Ripple to settle. Under the terms of the agreement, Ripple would have to pay a meager $20 million, guaranteeing that institutional sales of XRP are not categorized as securities. Since the SEC's cancellation of a crucial settlement meeting suggests that a settlement announcement is about to occur, it seems likely that this offer will be accepted. A thorough 584-page report that includes the opinions of hundreds of Americans on the possible establishment of a U.S. CBDC is contributing to this movement. The over 111 mentions of XRP highlight the Federal Reserve's interest in the XRP ledger for CBDC development. This attention, along with the enormous transaction volume of $1.2 quadrillion, strongly supports a $110,000 valuation for XRP as we see these developments unfold. 
According to analyst predictions, XRP might climb significantly in value within a few months, reaching a long-term value of $10,000 to $35,000 per coin with an immediate short-term spike to over $550. XRP and its stakeholders are going through a revolutionary era, but keep in mind that I am not a professional financial consultant. These videos material is only meant to be watched for enjoyment. I always advise viewers that before making any financial decisions, they should do their own research and speak with experts. Many thanks if you liked the video, please tune in. Would you kindly give it a thumbs up and remember to click the subscribe button as well? Ensure that the notifications are turned on to be the first to know about the introduction of fresh content that I'm eager to watch. I hope you enjoy the upcoming video.